All right, moving on to the discussion, IT Federal West Main Street Extension, Director of Planning and Zoning. So we, we met on this on November the 6th. We asked for us to come back with some estimates. Uh, we got with Pannonian Associates, and um, they calculated that uh, the design cost for uh, designing the pump station facility to meet the town specifications would be uh, $9,200. That includes $7,100 for the design and $2,100 for the operations and maintenance manual. Um, then there's a construction of the pump station, and that's anywhere from $385,000 to $400,000. And the, the direction there was give us an estimate on the cost the design and cost for something that's going to accommodate the whole development. And that's the 435? That's the, well, it's the 9200 for design and 400000 for construction. But that's not, according to Pannoni, that's not going to be possible to design it to accommodate the entire development. They were saying that we're going to need two pump stations, one on the north end, one on the south end. The north end will accommodate 80,000 80, gallons per day which is the equivalence of 4,200 employees. So that's pretty significant. Um, but then when we get to the back end of the site, they're saying that, um, we would have to pump it to the south and uh, look at another facility at that future time. Okay. So uh, just one pump station, the, one that, the original one we talked about would accommodate over 4,000 employees? 4,200 is what they calculated. That's a lot, yeah. That's a lot of employees. Now you start throwing in retail, and, and that might skew those numbers a little bit. So, so Joe, I guess to answer a question you want to want from council is, are we going to move forward with this under our umbrella? Whether we're going to construct it since we are in the sewer business and we'll collect our fees back with sewer taps to regain, and it all comes from our funds, our sewer funds. Right, I mean, this all boils down to um, trying to figure out who's going to actually pull the trigger on this. Right now, um, the site plan was approved with uh, EDA responsible for get doing this until we got all this work sure. out, until council decided, so yes. Okay, the question is going to be, gentlemen, and I'll start with you, Mr. Morrison. Are we ready to move forward and get, get working on this pump station? I feel we are. Okay. Jake? Um, well, I know that this, this question is going to have uh, a lot of the remnants of uh, a prior council member, but um, and bad taste and everything out for it. But, so we spend the money to build this, um, and what's the, I guess I should say, how soon is IT Federal going to be in place, um, and what's their first expectation of um, now basically, when do they expect to put the building up and have people in there operating? Uh, I don't know. Jeremy, do you have an idea of that? I know that... Um, Site pad is ready. Yeah. Is it ready already? Yeah, they're ready. Yeah, I wouldn't want to guess on that. Huh? I wouldn't want to guess on that. Yeah, I mean, I can get that in. Oh, I can... I mean, that's what... So it's like you, we spend a half million dollars to do this and then... Does it sit there for another two years, three years, four years, five years? I mean, I'm just... The moving forward. They've already applied for it. Permitted. We've already released our zoning permit, correct? And they have taken it to the county. They're waiting for their their site plans approved. Yeah, their site plans well, approved and their pad is ready for the facility. And once they get up, they're going to expect us to be ready to receive them. How long does it take for us to to build this? Yeah, that's my big question. Yeah, we need to First start. First, we got to wait for Penelope to design. And then you got to have the DEQs going to be involved in it because they got to approve all the specifications. And if they find one mistake, they're going to ship it right back to your engineers. But it sounds like it'd be like r roughly about ten thousand dollars just to be the design phase and everything else like that. But before, so I guess what I'm really getting at is I'm okay with moving forward on the design. It sounds like we have to do that at some point in time, anyways. But before we pull the trigger on the construction phase, um, I want to know what's going to sit there for two or three years before we do that. Team. Well, again, it goes right back to what Jake said. I agree with what he's saying 100% because I want to make sure, though, that we don't we don't get in 
called in a bye with IT Federal. And the reason I say that is uh, it could take as long as a year to get this thing through the DEQ for approval for whatever start moving in dirt. And I, I want to make sure that, that, that DBA and IT Federal are aware of that. That on the day that uh, they're finished building their building, and we don't have a bump station, they can't open it. And I think we need to make sure they are aware of that and that they, they, they may not get to go into the building at the time that they think they may be able to start their work. Because I've gone through these too many times and you can't depend on the plans being approved immediately. It's all based on the follow through through the DEQ and, and then you've got to advertise it, you've got to do all that and over the contractor. So yeah, I think we, we need, need to make to. sure that e IT Federal and EDA are aware that when they get their building built, it may not be available to be attached to that point. But I think Joe, correct me if I'm mistaken, IT Federal already has on their site plan a pumping station for their own private use that will be pumped over to 11th Street via a manhole that's going to sit right at the other side of the police department that we're going to attach to that IT Federal is going to be installing. That was the original plan. Kind of yes. done it to the issue. Force them to put a pump station in, and we can right behind them. To well, that's to what we them. need to make. That's what they're wanting to know, and, and staff is wanting to know. Well, what I just want to make sure that everybody's aware that we're not we're in a time constraint here. Yes, and very tight. That, that time constraint might not go along with IT Federal, so we need something from IT Federal. So yeah, we'll build it. But we want we need something from them saying they're aware that. They, that Pump station may not be completed until after the build is finished, or sometime afterwards. And it may not be. It might go online quicker. I don't know. But I want to make sure that they are aware that we're not held responsible in paying them damages for something that they expected and we can't give it to them. That's why I said that I'm sure they already have it on their site plan to install their own pump station. That's redundancy. That's I know it's redundancy, but I don't know how you're going to get somebody to build a building and, and say, well, when y'all get the sewer in, let me know. No, I just okay. think they ought to be aware of it. I didn't say that. I'm just yeah. saying somebody needs to go and talk to them and let them be aware of what the possibilities are. Oh, sorry, Bill. Or, it only case. comes down to the fact that we've already committed the IT Federal that we want to move in that direction. All we're doing here tonight is saying we want to proceed. And all you're saying is just alert them that we don't know what the timeline is right now. They may want to proceed with their own pumping station until we get the bigger one online. John? Um, so two things. Uh, one, Gene is completely right about DEQ. Um, for some reason or other, it just seems to every year take longer and longer and longer for them to process anything, um, especially for front oil projects. It tends to take a long time. So uh, I'm ready to move forward on this right now because I know that that's going to be um, it's going to be a longer process, probably than we want. Um, on the other side, I'm not too worried about this being built and just sitting for two, three, four, five years. Um, and Bill can probably correct me if I'm wrong, but the way I see it is having the infrastructure there attracts businesses to come to the lots and to develop them. So having this in place is a marketable quality for this portion of the town we want to develop. And so I don't, it's going to have to be built in the long term anyway. We intend for all of that space to get developed out. So let's go ahead and move forward. Okay. Everybody agree? Move forward? Yes. Joe? Yeah. I'll, uh, the horns and I'll reach out to Jennifer in the morning and uh, just let her know where we stand and make sure that IT Federal knows where we stand. You know, keep the communication line open. Okay. Yeah, because it's important that, that that manhole sits right outside the police department or the new facilities is to be put in by either us or IT somebody. I have talked to Jennifer about the possibility of doing a some arrangement where the future uses could come in and pay an additional fee on top of the tap fee to help the town recoup some of the costs. She seemed open to that possibility. I'll throw that out there. Certainly there would be just half fees, but 
what would a tap fee be to a pump station? Would it be just a regular town tap fee? Uh, well, we're talking about additional on top of the tap fee sure. just for that yeah. site there. And you figure you're spending 400000 for that, so you got six lots down there. So, you know. Okay. You see, the biggest problem is you don't know what kind of building they're going to need park, park protection. They're going to have to set up a six inch pane in the building. If they need building size and all that. Well, life are going ball. Huh? Life are going ball. Well, I know, but again, though, it's kind of hard to it's kind of hard to tell what people need until you know what they're going to build. And all right, moving forward to continue discussion for the fixed financing option for the new police department. Ms. Mayor, I believe there was a second half to agenda item number four. World Phoenix. Yeah. Oh, okay. Main Sorry, the West Main Street extension. No, so this is just a, a further update on the cost estimates that are recommended in that study. We set up a shared drive, uh, so that information is available for you if you want to go and read the however many hundred pages of the traffic study. Um, I would say if you had to read one, focus on the addendum that breaks down the cost estimates and the phasing of the project. Uh, it's, it's, we're looking at uh, a recommended uh, amount of about $12 million of off-site improvements. Which at this point is not feasible. The phasing study has a lot of that on the later end uh, of the project, so that there's quite a bit of uh, development that occur could occur initially, but it, it's something we have to address. Jeremy, going, going to this, I guess get back to the basics of first of IT Federal. How much is that first phase going to cost? That's the only thing I'm interested in at this point. I mean, we, we, we were talking about doing a phase study, and doing a phase that would get IT Federal in and out without any problem. That's the only thing I'm concerned about at this point, because right now we can't afford to do all this work that, that this uh, study is made by a long, long way. So how much is it going to cost to do the portion that we first talked about to get IT Federal in and out without any major problems? There's a nice uh, table, page 186 on this addendum. Um, and so it tells you exactly the square footage that would be allowed for each of the thresholds. So the first threshold is threshold A, and so we want to, that's about $1,600 of improvements at Kendrick Lane and North Shannon to have now, basically making it an all-way stop and doing some striping <coughs> for Southbound Lane. So that's not one of the that's about Well, I'm, I'm saying that you can, we can basically figure that out by calculating the square footage of the right to What I'm talking about is how much is it going to cost to build the phase from Kendrick Lane at this point to get to the IT Federal so they have egress needs. But that's Forget about all the additional things that we may need in the future. 200 and some of it, when we first started, it was around two and a quarter of a million, 250, 300,000. Now, is that still the an option? Because when we talk about all these, this traffic study, and, and, and it's, it's, it's okay, but we need to first decide on how much we're going to build at the first phase so we can get IT Federal in and out, just like the sewer pumping station. I don't think we had any costs associated at the beginning. We were going to build so far into the, if you go back and look at the plans that the only brought forward, it had it set up in a phase that uh, the first phase would cost X number of dollars, and then we decided we thought we'd do the rest of it and you do the West Main connector and add it all together. But there was a phase in there that they gave us a cost in regards to a portion that just actually strictly is for IT federal to get in there. Well, we don't have a cost, true cost estimate for the whole project because it hasn't been engineered. We have a design, but the, the entire road well, I think if you go to Jennifer, she can tell you that the first phase, when we talked about this thing, was just a small portion of the, what we call the West Main Connector. Did you do the first phase of the actual project? John? Yeah, I remember that. We actually got grant money for that first phase. Right. 
And it was actually awarded last December at the uh, Commonwealth Transportation Board. I want to say it was like six hundred thousand, maybe five hundred or six hundred thousand dollars grant that towards yeah. that first right. phase one right. of West Maine. And um, I remember as part of that, uh, IT Federal was supposed to contribute matching funds for that first phase. One fifty. Like it was one thirty one. Yeah, or something to that effect, and uh, we still have that funding through VFAP. Yeah, that, that okay. grant's still there, um, but now with the issue of who takes the ownership of the uh, pumping station at, on IT Federal, they thought, well, if they had to pay for that, then they weren't going to contribute for the West Main Phase right. One. Right. So, um, but as my understanding, they were supposed to do the matching for the grant. Um, to get that first phase one done. I'm sorry, Gene, I remember now what, what I, I, I was absolutely off course. I forgot all about We talked about going in Main Street halfway to serve IT Federal. Yeah. And that was yeah, whatever, 600. Whatever yeah. link it was. I'd like I to go you were back talking to about that and put somewhere. that Let me on get top that of the agenda and not this whole project going through and all these phases that it looks like $12 million or 11 something. Yeah. Okay. Let's hope they don't get over 4,000 employees. Get 4,000 employees, that would be amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can I have that point of information? <laughs> I don't know what threshold A, C, F. Help me understand the map that you put out there. Jeremy, would you help me? Yeah, that page will help. It explains all the thresholds and when they would be required in the development. Yeah. Okay. So basically, what Gene's asking for was this first phase that we talked about right here. Main Street. Mm -hmm. Joe, did you say you were going to put that one section on a work session? Yeah, we'll bring some of this information okay. back. Just sure okay. Which to me, that's just almost as important as the pump station. Yes, you're right. They're hand in hand. Yeah. Yes, sir. Any more questions for? Thank you, Jeremy. Thank you, Jeremy.